So in 2013, what was happening on the streets of Orange County was pure evil. Um, women were being grabbed and their bodies dumped on local landfills. And in 2014, you inherited a case um, where you discovered the 20-year-old um, Jare, 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 um, mangled body in a trash uh, sorting plant in Anaheim. In fact, you promised um, Jare's mother you would find the killer, which is pretty bold. Um, given the high percentage of cold cases and homicide that don't get solved, right. what was you, what were you going through, or what was going through your mind when you made this promise? And do you ever consider that you may not might, might not be able to deliver on the promise? Let me just put it: this, I would not do it again. Um, the desperation in that mother's voice and uh, Jody is is very uh, high maintenance and she was very upset and rightfully so sure. I mean she's in another state um, she can't meet with me and you know uh, I think when you meet someone you get a certain you know connection to them we're talking on the phone she wants answers I, I can't give them to her and I just remember telling her you just got to have a little bit of faith in me. I, I can't tell you everything right now. I have to protect the case. Um, just, I promise you. It, it just, it just kind of flew out. I said, I, I promise you. I, and here's the thing. I would not have rested until I found out what had happened. I, I would have died still, you know, gone to the grave, still trying to figure out what had happened to those, to those girls. Um, it just kind of flew out, I, out of my mouth. And next thing you know, um, you know, I told her, I said, I, I promise you, I will, I will find out what happened. And did I think that there's a possibility that wasn't going to happen? Of course. Sure. Um, but I think that was just extra drive to, to get the job done. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's true of a goal, right? I'm going to do this. You tell people you're going to do it. it. You know, you now have some accountability. It's, it's there. Not that I think you need that because you're really good at what you do. But, um, but within 20 days of starting the investigation on this case, you connected the dots of the missing women um, to two sex offenders, and you were starting uh, staring at a serial murder case. Um, what was going through your mind at that point? I mean, 20 days into it, you start to realize, wait a minute, there's a pattern, there's multiple women involved, and it looks to be a serial murder in Orange County, of all places. I mean, I, I was shocked. Um, you know, when you become a homicide detective, you, you think, you know, you watch the movies and they're serial right. killers, right? And you realize very quickly, like the chances of you working a serial cases are, are actually pretty low. And here I, here I am working, you know, what I think is just the murder of, of Jare. And I find myself all of a sudden in the middle of this investigation that involved not only just one serial killer, but two working together, which is extremely rare. Um, and you know, I, I, I had that Oh, and some colorful words came out of my sure. mouth moment. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, the pressure was definitely on. Um, both of these individuals uh, were wearing, wearing ankle monitors, which you think, how bold is that? You're wearing ankle monitors, and yet you're still cannot, cannot is be Is it women. boldness or stupidity? Or they just lack of self-control? I mean, I, you, you would think, hey, you're, you got monitoring on, so you don't do anything, but <laughs> I, well, where does that come from? I wouldn't say stupidity because they were very efficient killing machines for mm -hmm. as long as they did it for. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, what drives them, I, I still don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'll ever really know the answer of what happened uh, between those two men and what truly drove them to do what they did. Um, but it is pure evil. Yeah. Um, and it, it was, it was uh, 20 days that I did not sleep, um, especially once we knew who they were mm -hmm. and we had to build a case mm -hmm. and we had to build a strong case and so they were out for about seven days before we actually arrested them right. and uh, I, I I don't say this Which lightly edge, I, I did not sleep yeah no I could imagine because you know you, you you know right so part of the process of linking two individuals the murder was the DNA mm -hmm. what was it like waiting for the match it, it's definitely not like TV uh, it takes a little bit more than a commercial break to get DNA right. results back. Right. Uh, you know, people think, oh, well, they have all these offenders in this database in the state, and they should be really, you know, quick to get a match. And it, it doesn't work that way. We had to get um, what we call a standard, and we had to get it surreptitiously. So we followed these individuals around, you know, eventually had them discard something. And even from there, it takes about 72 hours to get a hit, and that's with the analyst working pretty much around the clock. Really? 
And wow. you know, every as DNA gets more efficient, it becomes quicker and quicker. We now have in the county what's called rapid DNA, um, but that's really only for blood. If there's blood left at the scene, we can normally get a DNA profile now within 24 hours, um, which is really good. Sometimes the same day, depending what time we send it in. But for the most part, to get a match from a forensic scientist takes about 72 hours. Does, does the jury then in the court system look at DNA from blood versus um, you know fluids differently? Or if the DNA tech says this is a match, do they accept that? Or is it not that simple? No, they do. Um, with rapid DNA, which is fairly new, is we'll get a match. It's enough for us to proceed forward with the case, but then we still actually still send it to the Orange County Crime Lab and they still do the traditional testing that takes a little bit longer. That's the evidence that ultimately ends up in court. Okay.